asked how it all started. I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here?
Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. We found this place a while ago, but I still can't get used to it. Strange Maybe place, this D6. Artyom was one of the men who found these seats. They gave him the story is the construction started in Stalin's time to spread down onto the USSR for the War, well anyway, where were we? No, did you hear what we reached the time? And here, come on, you have time for us. This charge last week, so he squatters. Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smart move. Good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons at home, and the choice of them is completely up to you. Shotguns are always good for stopping power at close range. <laughs> Just don't go trying to snipe with one. Make sure you take a close range weapon with that one. Rifles are good for long range targets, but you don't want to get caught with your pants down if something creeps up behind you. Head over to my 
Hey, Artem, what on the show for me, huh? Try out the rest of the weapons you chose. Dry shooting for the center of the regular battle chair. Good shot! Now shooting armor down. Notice the difference? It's going to take more bullets to penetrate the armor. Look for sparks to know when to start. Try a headshot. That's the critical hit. Notice the difference? Those are the basics. You can keep processing if you want, or head on up to the first briefing. Congratulations, that was it! Complete escape! I'd rather play the code of nostalgia than give weapons to you people! Get lost! Shooting position! Lost! Did you hear the order? I'm going to get you ready to get here for damn sure. Miller's calling the group leaders in. There's going to be a big assembly. Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates! Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you what talking you about? Here? Check Open with the, the guards at the lab. Code 44. What the hell did he do? Opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. So cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Okay, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open, and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone! Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. God damn it. The colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, the base devoid a dream of fighting. Guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones... Miller ordered all our men assembled here on this base. Hey, anyone know what the buzz is about? Take these guys to Why Miller. The They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, Goth, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? 
One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah. Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running it. Your job is to intercept him before he can the Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Train coming in. Worn this place out. Let's move. Just a year ago, I stood on top of the TV tower and saw missiles rain on the botanical gardens, turning the flesh into ashes, smelting metal and glass. Nobody and nothing could survive that inferno. Yet Khan did find a Dark One there. Now my mission is to find and eliminate it. To finish what I started. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. All right, we've reached the station. This is part of the secret Metro 2 line. We haven't explored these tunnels. Can't spare the time or manpower. So don't wander off. some juice on the system and get the lights on. Use your flashlights in the meantime. Right. You ready? Let's move. Watch yourself. The doors are closing. Good luck. Yeah, we need it. Didn't you and my father take the monorail when you went out to fire the missiles at the Dark One's nest? That's a good sign, Rabbit. Maybe we'll have luck with this mission, too. Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. Great. You did fine after all.
All clear. Move out. All right. The map shows a collector entry point ahead. Move. I'm following. Go right. There's a dead end on the left. Something alarmed them. Stay sharp. Shit. That thing's fast. You got reflexes. I'll give you that. Great. The ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or man. Surface. Put your mask on. Quit looking at my ass. Way out of your reach, rabbit. Give me a hand here. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. You're supposed to be immune to there. What? Influence? Well, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the Dark Ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do, and come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck. Come on! Damn, 
fast. How did it do that? Circle it from the left. It's still there. Wait, it should be here. Watching you. See it. You're going down, you little fucker. Leave after an archaeology. There's no way around. The creature I met in the burnt-out remains of the gardens looks like a dark one. And it was able to enter my mind, dragging the innermost out of me. But it was also just the baby. And I am sure that it recognized me. And got scared. It also left me knocked out for some time. Just enough for me to get captured. These prisoners were captured at the botanical gardens. Seems like they were looking for something. These two are red. They refuse to speak. The third one looks like a ranger of the order. A mutant the size of a child was caught near him. It was delivered to Reich as well. I'll deal with it later. This one. Suspected mutation. No, no, I'm normal. See, two arms, two legs, ten fingers. Don't you understand? I'm a Hatsa citizen. Shut up! You are not in Hatsa. Here you are a suspect in the distribution of corrupted genes. Hey. And this is your trial. If your skull has the correct proportions, you are free to go. If not, you are an abomination. Science, you see. This is an outrage! I told you to stay still! Well? Let's see. 318 millimeters by... 302. Let's look it up in the table. Ah, congratulations. You're a mutant. No, no. <laughs> to the garbage shoot. A safer question. What was your mission in the garbage? Go to hell yourself, Nazi. I'm gonna count to three. One. Glory to the red line. Two. Long live covered Muffin. Please! Please, I'll, I'll talk! I'll talk! But, but, but away from the other side, they'll kill me if they hear, okay? Take this one to the second unit. Usually, Reich does not interfere with the Order's business. But here, we have you, the Reds, and the Freak, all caught in the same net. I do not like it. So talk, or take a bullet to the brain. Get the officer! Hey, you! <laughs> Here, you keep the knife. Keep it. So, uh, we are with the Spartan order. I'm from the Red Line. Uh, our superiors are not on the best of terms, huh? But I say, fuck that. No, oh, fuck that. The grunts stick together, huh? <laughs> the fuck? I see. Oh, ты, ты смотри. Remotely controlled lock. One thing's for sure. Our only chance of getting out of this alive, work together. Right. 
Now, what did they say about the garbage? Shoot? Okay. Let's get our asses out of this place. Then we'll go our separate ways. Huh?